Medical imaging often shows us what things look like. Nuclear medicine shows us what things are doing on a metabolic level. It can detect diseases when cells start to behave abnormally, long before any structural changes occur. Unlike other imaging modalities where images are created from external beams, nuclear medicine works from the inside out. Before the scan, patients are given a radio tracer. This is normally a radioactive atom attached to a biological molecule or pharmaceutical, something that the body normally metabolizes. Radio tracers can track processes like bone turnover, blood flow, the activity of certain receptors and metabolism. Nuclear medicine notices when cellular processes in the body change, like when cancer cells use so much energy burning up glucose, or in an infective process where there's increased inflammation and blood flow, as well as organ-specific processes in diseases that affect the kidneys, thyroid gland, heart, and bone. Once the radioactive tracer enters the body, it emits gamma rays or positrons from inside the body. And these are detected by specialized cameras in the scanner external to the body. In single photon emission computed tomography, or SPECT, gamma cameras directly detect gamma rays coming outward from inside of the body. And like in CT, the camera rotates around the patient building a 3D data set. And in positron emission tomography, or PET, the scanner detects positron emitting radio tracers. When a positron emitted by the radio tracer meets one of the body's electrons, they annihilate and produce two photons traveling in opposite directions. And the PET scanner detects this and produces a highly detailed map of tracer uptake. And these nuclear medicine images give us maps of the body's physiology. Now, the doses to the body from the radioactive tracers are small and the tracers themselves decay quickly. And that's intentional. Because patients temporarily emit radiation, they follow simple instructions, like staying away from pregnant women or children for a few hours, and using dedicated toilets in the hospital so the radio tracer doesn't contaminate surfaces. These steps are only short-lived, and they're standard in nuclear medicine departments. With PET-CT and SPECT-CT, we combine anatomy with function in one scan, the best of both worlds. 